hey guys welcome to my channel i'm gonna show you how to make this car seat cover and it works wonderful for winter time it is perfect for when you have to take your little ones out either to the babysitter or just because you're gonna go out it is really simple to make i'm gonna start with the materials i bought a couple of yards of two different kinds of prints i got a print it is this like it's a ABC Sue and the other one is a fluffy blue. I also got ribbon. I got my sewing machine and everything. I got, I believe it was a yard and a half. Um, but I'm going to put the measurements and everything in my vlog. I got also a little bit of this fleece just to cover up with the ribbon and make them stronger to hold better. So, and I also gonna use snaps, but you can totally use hoop and loop, belk, or whatever you want to call it. It will work the same, and I mean, it is easier to get than the snap sometimes. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to form the the ribbon and this will help me hold the cover to the car seat this will be the handle in a way you can call it that like that so I got two pieces of ribbon and I got one of the fleece that I'm gonna put in the middle I will hold everything with the pins and I'm gonna sew around with my sewing machine I'm just gonna go very close to the edge and you can pull the fleece a little or cut it a little small you don't need you need you don't need it to show when you're sewing it that's why i'm doing it this way now i'm gonna kind of fold that edge and i'm gonna sew as well if as you can tell the fleece is coming out a little bit but you just either push it in or just cut it i think i yeah i pushed it in it was just easier than taking the whole thing and cut it that way it won't show in your and your ribbon so i'm gonna go ahead and close this up and uh this this is what i'm gonna do with both i only did two of the handles for the cover just to because i didn't feel like it would need more but if your car seat is different you can totally make more than that now i'm going to cut half of the of the thing the whole measure for the cover is 30 Thank you, my love. The link is over here. And I'm going to mark in half. I'm going to cut half of it. And the reason for that, this will be the opening for the car seat cover for you to be able to see your baby and just to have a little bit of air coming in. So I'm going to go ahead, try to measure. And from here, I'm going to measure from the bottom up. I'm going to measure... Um, how many inches I want it to be and I just measure mine 17 I figured that was gonna be enough so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting I'm cutting the printed fabric as well as the blue one and what I love about these fabrics is that they're really soft it worked wonders for us with Ling when he was a baby I'm gonna go ahead and do a zigzag stitch that way I will bind the printed fabric and the blue one when I'm trying to add the ribbon on the on at the edge it won't move it will make it easier for me it might take a little bit extra time but it does make it easier by the time you're sewing the whole thing so I'm gonna go ahead and do this with the whole edge of my two blankets and I'm gonna take my white ribbon you can use fabric you can use whatever you have in hand I figure your ribbon was was easy to use it was handy i have a bunch of ribbons so it was something i could do i actually got this ribbon at costco it was pretty like it was a bunch of jars i got it like two years ago for like six dollars so it was a pretty pretty good deal and I'm, I'm just gonna fold the ribbon in half i'm gonna place it all over my blanket like this and i'm gonna hold it with pins so i'm gonna sew just a single stitch all around I will sew a line that way the ribbon will stay in place in the cover. You can use cotton over fleece, a texture fleece if you like. I'm pretty sure it will work the same. I just wanted to make it extra warm and I decided to take two pieces of fleece. And uh, for the corners, the corners are really easy. As you can tell, I stopped before I got to the corner and I started working my way folding 
the other edge, the other side, and just making sure to apply the pins. That way I can conserve, like keep the same shape for this. I'm pretty sure there is a very easy way to do this. I just, I'm not an expert sewing. So I do what works for me. So just bear with me with these tutorials. You know, I just try to do things that work and help you make them too. Um, the next step I gotta do, I gotta measure my my car seat. This is a car seat. I don't remember the brand. It probably says it right here. It's just a generic car seat. Oh, baby something. Um, so anyways, I measure how the distance between them. I ended up doing three ribbons instead of two because I felt like it was just gonna fall in the middle so I'm gonna measure from the middle and then I'm gonna place one of the things that I work at first I'm gonna place a pin here uh, a sec um, security pin and from there I'm gonna start measuring to the sides the the inches that I had to the side depending on your car seat mine was seven and a half eight inches but you can measure and if you want in a different position that will work well so i'm gonna mark my spots right here and then i'm going to start adding the ribbon the the pieces so the cover can actually secure itself to the car seat so i'm gonna go ahead and place this and i'm gonna add a pin in the middle that i can remove the security pin now and this will help me hold it until I have to sew it because I'm going to sew this right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the other two as well. The same way I did this one. Just if I mean you can remove the secure pin if you want before you do that. It'll, I mean you'll know where it goes. That way it won't get in the way. Just make sure to get both sides. And now in your sewing machine, just do a simple stitch. Go over a couple of times so it's secure enough. So you make sure that it won't fall on top of your baby's face. Just make sure it will be secure enough. You can do like a square just to make sure that it will stay there. I did a couple of stitches and just made sure that it was not going to fall on Link's face. And that's pretty much it. Now the next step will be adding the snaps. You can use the hope and loop, the velcro. You can sew it as well the same way. I already started with the middle one that helped me hold it so I can add the other ones. So I'm going to add a pin, uh, snap here. And the snaps are really simple to use. I'm going to link the, the video below so you can learn how to add the snaps. I, I mean it's for diapers but it works the same thing. Uh, I explain a little bit more how to add them. So I'm just going to make sure where I'm going to add the other snap. I want this nug. I don't want it to lose. You can make them longer to adjust the different car seats if you want. Maybe a stroller depending on what you're planning to use this for. So I'm going to go ahead finish this up. And I decided to also add a snap on the back. I'm going to show you right now why. I just felt like it was hanging too much it was dragging on the floor and I did not like that so I just got the ends and kind of fold them in the middle and that way I can I had a little bit more coverage and it wouldn't fly when it was really windy and also it wouldn't drag on the dirty floors when we had to go to the doctors so it was pretty pretty handy for that I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions if you like it if you like my sewing tutorials let me know i'm gonna add more i'm gonna add the playlist so you can check out all my sewing tutorials thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give me a like bye